Welcome to the Horizon Newscast for the week of September 24th, 2012. I'm video editor Jonathan Cates. Every two seconds in the United States, someone needs blood. IU Southeast hosted a blood drive on September 11th. Cassidy Teague was there with the American Red Cross and the event host Alpha Phi. According to their website, the American Red Cross hosts more than 200,000 blood drives every year. On Tuesday, September 11th, the American Red Cross and Alpha Phi joined forces and sponsored a blood drive at IU Southeast. American Red Cross worker Donna Applegate says student involvement is important for the American Red Cross. I would just like to add a huge thank you because I don't know if uh, faculty, administration, and students are aware of this, but high school and college students contribute a total of about 30% of our nation's blood supply overall. That's a huge, that's a huge number. Alicia Pendleton says her sorority was happy to host the blood drive with the Red Cross. Our sorority Alpha Phi, our philanthropy is heart health, so we're very into having a healthy lifestyle and helping people learn how to do so. While only 38% of the population meet the requirements to give blood, Donna Applegate offered other ways to help the Red Cross, such as monetary donations, spreading awareness, or volunteering at a local blood drive. From the Hoosier Room, I'm Cassidy Cheek, the Horizon Newscast. For more information on local blood drives, go to redcross.org. Approve This Message 2012 series continues with part two, College Republicans. Jody Hamilton attended the first College Republicans meeting and spoke to the group's president, Laura Caruso. Laura Caruso, president of the College Republicans, shares the meeting times. We have our meetings once a month. It's usually on a Wednesday. Ms. Caruso explains the importance of voting and how your vote can make a difference. This year is an incredibly important year one of our greatest liberties in this country is that we all have the right to vote. Men, women, doesn't matter your race, just matters that you're 18. Get out there and vote. I would prefer that you vote for a Republican, but it is so important that we all go out and vote and make a difference because your vote really does count. Tune in next time for our series, Approve This Message 2012. I'm Jody Hamilton. For the Horizon Broadcast. Tune in next week for Approve This Message 2012 as we attend the Civil Liberties Union Forum empowering the individual citizen. In IU Southeast Sports News, I was there as the 7 and 5 Grenadiers volleyball squad tried to snap a seven game win streak of the Blue Raiders from Lindsey Wilson College. After losing the first two sets, 25 to 20 and 25 to 19, the Grenadiers came back and took the third set, 27 to 25. But the Blue Raiders were too much as they took the fourth and final set, 25 to 23. Even though they lost, head coach Leslie Prather was very pleased with the team's performance. This was the first time that we've showed any kind of heart, any kind of fight, and I told them to grasp that feeling and keep it in their heart and know that what that feels like to play like that and to be able to every game. There's no reason we should not play like that every game. The next game for the Grenadiers is on the road against KIAC opponent Asbury College. Senior PJ Cockerell said that she hopes to use the next few practices to get the team prepared. I think on the road it's, it's more mental, so it's just preparing ourselves. Because um, a lot of the teams that we have had on the road are, are strong teams. And Asbury is another one, so we're just going to have to be prepared as well as possible. But we have some days to practice, so hopefully we'll get what we need done. The next home game you can attend will be on Thursday, September 27th against Spalding University, or you can watch it live by going to the volleyball page on IUSAthletics.com. On September 13th, IU Southeast held an event where students had the opportunity to meet their psychology professors. Sandra Morris was there to find out how this event helps students. The psychology faculty have held a meet and greet event for the past four years. The event provides students an opportunity to learn surprising things about psychology careers and research paths. I spoke with Jessica Bryant, psychology senior and president of the psychology club, about the purpose of Meet the Psychology Professors. I just think these events are important for 
students because if this gives them an opportunity to meet the professors that they're going to be working with, that they're going to be learning from their entire psychology career. I spoke with Delana Shaw, criminal justice freshman. Shaw said she learned that psychology is a broader field than she thought, and she enjoys the psychology class she's taking now. Sally Sturgis, psychology senior, emphasized the need to get research credit as early as possible so you can put it on grad school applications. I wish I, wish I would have known about it when I was a freshman or a sophomore, just to know more about getting involved with the research, helping professors out, because um, I'm a senior this year. And I'm like scrambling to get like applications ready for grad school and just so many of them want you to have research experience. The event provided an excellent overview for any student curious about a psychology degree. From University Center, Sandra Morris, The Horizon Newscast. Students interested in psychology can get more information from Lucinda Woodward, Professor of Psychology at 812-941-2365. Thanks for watching the Horizon Newscast. Check back next week by going to our website at iushorizon.com for all things IU Southeast. Again, I'm Jonathan Cates. Have a great week.